What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another Sohinki Channel video where today we're going to be playing some Artifact. And uh, I have to admit, leading up to the release of this beta, my interest has sort of waxed and waned a bit because I've seen gameplay and it looked extremely complicated. Uh, but I got th the chance to play it yesterday. Uh, the beta started, they flipped the switch, and I was uh, able to try it out. And honestly, um, it's not as hard as you think it is, at least to get the basics of. I should say I've only played like, you know, 10 or 11 matches or something. So I'm very new to it still. I don't know the proper strategy necessarily. I just know what I know, um, which is what I've experienced in the 10 games that I've played. Uh, the nifty thing is, so obviously you can just play normally. Uh, there are a bunch of different modes. There's expert play. Uh, there's like draft modes. Uh, you can look at your collection and build uh, decks and stuff. I haven't really gotten into deck building very much because I don't, once again, fully understand what I'm doing yet. Um, that being said, they have this cool mode called Call to Arms, where they have these pre-constructed decks. And the pre-constructed decks, um, you basically just pick one, and you see how many wins you can get a in a row. As you can see, my best so far is three. Um, I've actually played this Upkeep Killer deck, which is the one I'm going to be playing today in today's video. And then this Death and Taxes deck, uh, which is another interesting one that's based on, like, rewards for killing minions or like you know bonuses for killing your own minions and that kind of thing um i think i'm getting ahead of myself though what i want to do in this video is explain all of the basics so that you guys actually understand the gameplay and then maybe we'll make some more videos in the future about like you know exactly the you know how the advanced strategies go and whatnot um so yeah i'm gonna try and over explain everything so that you guys are 100 percent certain as to what is going on so let's just get into a match, and we'll start from there. Uh, what I can tell you, the absolute basics, um, just starting right uh, from the beginning, is you want to destroy two lanes. So much like Dota, there are three lanes in this game, as you can see right here. And you can see that in all three lanes, there are towers. And uh, I'm just going to zoom out in a second so you can see. Um, so each tower has 40 health, and after you kill it, the Ancient will spawn. So the way you win the game is either destroying two towers or destroying one tower and then the Ancient. And the Ancient actually has 80 health. Um, so it's a little tougher to do to focus down one lane, but it can be done. Uh, the heroes and minions sort of spawn randomly as the game starts. So as you can see, uh, right now, we actually have a very slight advantage as we'll be killing one minion. 15 seconds remaining. All right, I'm going to go back here. Uh, and then I have these cards. Uh, so you can only play blue cards in this lane because I only have a blue hero here. That's pretty important Five to explain. Alright, I think I'm just going to pass, honestly. Um, so because I... Uh, you can only play cards in the lane if you have that card color hero in the lane. So if I have a black hero in the lane, I can play black cards. If I have a blue hero in the lane, I can bl play blue cards. But if I wanted to play a combination of cards in that lane, I would have to have uh, both colored heroes in the lane, a blue and a black hero. And if you have no heroes in your lane, you can't play any cards in that one. And it always goes from left to right, lane one, lane two, then lane three, and you kind of go through the actions there. All right, so he's got Ignite in this lane, and that's already going to be a little rough for me. And I should explain the types of cards too, but I want to I want to start with even you know more basic basics before that. So uh, we're just gonna leave it how it is. Um, okay. So one thing is, how do you decide who's going first? Well, there's a thing called initiative, and you can actually see up in the top left who has initiative. So if it's on the bottom of the picture like this in the lane then that means I have initiative, and if it was up here, uh, where the cursor is right up here, then he would have initiative. Uh, so right now we're deciding where to place our heroes. And it's looking like my left lane and my right lane are the two strongest right now. So I'm going to go ahead and place my Ogre Magi, and it's a little weird because we're in a mirror match right now, in the far left lane here. And he'll probably do the same, honestly. Yep. All right. So everything's going to trade in this lane right now. I didn't draw any uh, 
I think we have to leave it how it is. And let's just go ahead and call that it. Skadoosh. I don't think I can save this guy by swapping him. So we're just going to have to leave that how it is. And unfortunately, that means that he's going to gain a very large advantage in this lane. Perfection. Yeah, he definitely had better RNG for where his stuff started. Let's go ahead and put a Heartstopper Aura. We're going to maybe go back to the idea that we can win this lane, even though he's got the Ignite. Okay, two Plague Wards, that's fine. It's not fine that that happened, though. One piercing damage to Zeus's enemy neighbors after you play a blue spell. Wow, that's really good. Okay. Oh, I wanted to talk about initiative, so let's do that. Um, so basically, initiative has to do with... The back of your throat is perfectly normal. Sorry. Initiative has to do with um, who has played the last card. So because he played the last card, he played that card um, in this lane, which was... Uh, so Venom, summon two Plague Wards. Now it's my turn to play first. And if I choose to do nothing, as you can see in here, I will have initiative, which means I'll be able to act first going into the next turn. Um, 15 seconds remain. I don't think there's any point in doing anything here. So we're not going to do anything. And he didn't do anything either. So he got a huge advantage because he killed a hero last turn, and I did not. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this Traveler's Cloak because we definitely want to, uh... Oh man, we did not get any minions. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Is we're going to go ahead and play... Actually, maybe maybe left lane is the one we start sacking. So let's go ahead and put Tinker here. My right lane is going to start getting a little crazy. Oh, so he decided to put his Tinker middle too. We're just a bunch of mirror matchers. Okay. So here's what I want to do. Oh, I messed up, actually. I should have put him here because I wanted March of the Machines in the middle lane. Okay, I did mess up a little bit there. Let's go ahead and put the Traveler's Cloak on our Ogre and try to save him. That's a good question. Let's find out. We've got lots of March of the Machines here. So we can pick a lane that has... Um, a black character and really use it to play these and kind of start taking over. Hmm. This is, uh, this is going to be interesting. Death okay. He gave a blink dagger to his Necrophos, and let's see if he blinks him. I'm just going to go ahead and pass and see what he does. Um, oh, and I should talk about the different kinds no of cards here. Will stand before me. Okay. I don't... He put a heart stopper on him. That's fine. I have right where I want you. So... This lane... Uh, these guys are going to trade... I want to say that it's probably a good idea for me to uh, play March of the Machines here. Or we can do it in this lane. I think this the right lane is already pretty secured. So the thing you should know about upgrade cards is the card with these little castle symbols is that you can actually place them in any lane. So I'm going to go ahead and place my March of the Machines in middle. It won't activate right now. But what it does is, if there are any charges on March of the Machines, uh, remove one and deal two damage to the enemy tower and two damage to each enemy. So for three turns, it's going to do two damage to everything in the lane, which is pretty nice. I don't have anything to heal this guy, so those heroes are just going to die, basically. And this lane is pretty securely ours right now. Um, I think what we should do probably is go ahead and swap our guy with this Plague Ward. 
can draw a card, but it unfortunately, how many oof, that conflagration is going to get real gross in this lane for sure. All right, we have Zeus that we can put down, and we have Friendly Fire, and we have Initiative. So, let's go ahead and take our Blink Dagger while we have gold to buy it, or we maybe fully heal a unit just in case. All right, let's grab these. Um, and we can spawn Zeus somewhere. So I think we've decided that we're letting go of the left lane and we're trying to gain control of the middle and the right. Unfortunately, we can't play any black cards for a couple turns right now. So as it stands right now, our ogre's gonna die. Like we need to match his conflagration, actually. Let's, show them who they're dealing with. Let's go ahead and match his conflagration over there. And then I think I might fully heal my ogre to keep him alive in this lane. Watch as your friends die. I was going to march the machines that lane, too. How about that? I just can't do it this turn. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and heal up our ogre. Oh, I feel better. Me too. All right. So we kill his ogre. Now left lane's kind of swinging our way again, though. Getting a little weird. Two Plague Wards, yikes. Yeah, that, that card is definitely doing work against me right now. So... If I do 4 health minus 2 armor, I think I save him. I don't. I actually think I can kill this Zeus, though, if I have him attack the creep. So I might have to friendly fire there. Alright, so he attacks the creep, and then I should zap him, right? One piercing damage. Why didn't it do a piercing damage? There we go. Nice. That's really good. Okay, so middle lane is going our way, kind of. Jeez. The right lane completely cleared just now. So that's kind of nuts. Okay. Nothing happens. I've never actually had that happen before in a game yet. And all of a sudden, we have a ton of gold. Equipped hero has plus one armor. Move equipped hero's enemy neighbors to random other lanes. Interesting. I might try and hold on to remaining. that. That seems crazy. I might try and hold on to that. Five seconds remaining. Three, two, one. Eh, let's just... One. Damn it. I, I got... <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> okay, so we've decided that we're sacking the left lane, basically, I think. Let's put Necro here. And let's put... Uh, Tinker... Fifteen seconds hmm. remaining. I kind of want to put Tinker... Here and I can zap the. He has initiative though. Five seconds remaining. Three. Okay. Two. All right, we're putting one. Tinker in the left lane. I might regret this. And he put Tinker middle. I think we're gonna Thunder God's Wrath, which he probably has too, and he has initiative. Okay. So it's my turn. That'll kill his Necro. It's 
It's not going to kill his Tinker, but it'll come close. It's possible, though, that I should just save it. Here, I can kill his Necker with this. Oh, no, I can't. That did one less damage than I thought it would. Have I got a surprise for you? Are you marching in this lane, dog? Um. What should I do, guys? This is rough. Right lane, he seems to have given up on to some degree. Put heart stopper. Fifteen seconds remaining. You know what? Let's let's save the thunder gods for when his stuff spawns. Let's just let's just match his march. It's probably a bad decision, but we're matching it. We want to try and have uh, initiative going into the following turn, though, for sure. I have some friends I'd like to introduce you to. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Okay. Let's maybe put up the trebuchet. I don't actually know what... Man, this is so tough. Let's go ahead and... I'm literally... I, I almost want to just match his upgrades. One thing the Keen have perfected, it's warfare. That blink is kind of fine. Um, because it's gonna he's gonna die to march of the machines. That was really dumb. I think we pass. We have initiative. Boom. His stuff dies to march of the machines. Oh, but both of my heroes died. I think he like forgot. That was going to happen. Okay. Well, middle lane is a little in trouble now. At least both of these are going to die next turn. And I and my Thunder Gods is going to kill the Tinker next turn. That's fine. Thunder Gods Wrath. Man, I keep on just saying card names without explaining them. Well, I, I've been mousing over a little bit, though. Four piercing damage to each enemy. All right. So he's going to be doing nine damage this turn to the middle. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do some work next turn. I sh I should be fine. Okay, that's totally fine. You picked a fight. You can't win. It's weird that he would woo. That's strange. Because he doesn't have any minions. So he's he's planning on stacking the left lane. It seems like. I just want to. I just need to maintain initiative, basically now. Your death was a foregone conclusion. Okay, so this lane is one, for now. Um, and it seems like he's planning on stacking the left lane. I already have one march there. I have one march there already. Maybe we'll put double march in middle. Nah. He wouldn't have put that up if he wasn't planning on stacking this lane. Let's double march this lane. Oh no, I gave up initiative. Okay, that was stupid. That was a little stupid. Damn. Alright, I messed up. I messed up a little bit. Man, I don't know what to do. All right, let's go ahead and put the Trey Boucher in this lane. Right, since we already gave up our initiative, we might as well. Oh man, that was so stupid. I really messed up there. 
We're just gonna have to put, um... Ooh, Shiva's guard. Modify a unit and its allied neighbors with minus two attack. Sure. Never tried that before. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put our Venno in the left lane here. We're going to kind of hope that he's planning on stacking the left lane. Because our middle lane is, we're basically sacking it completely. And if he puts them all in the right lane, actually, it could have been a bait. If he puts them, ooh, yeah, he put them in the right lane. That's a little bit of a problem. Although we've got Heartstopper, and we've got Conflagrate, so I think we're good as long as we are able to cast this Thunder God's Wrath. <laughs> All of the marches. Alright. Thunder God's time. Let's do it. Zap. Zap. Okay. Beauty. So that's a that's a waste right there. And then I think what we should do is, so he doesn't have a hero middle to play any cards, but he does have two over here. And they should die from the Heartstopper and the Conflagration. But just in case, I think we need to save one of these heroes. So let's go ahead and Traveler's Cloak our Venno. every coin. All right, which gave him plus four health. Once again, I'm not explaining things that well. All right. March the machines, killed some minions off. That's cool, I guess. Middle's a weird toss-up right now. And then Potion of Knowledge. Should we just draw a card right now? Might as well, right? I don't know. Now, over here, I think we kill his stuff. Yeah. Both dead. Oh, did he concede? He conceded! Yeah! We knocked out all of his heroes and he conceded. That Thunder to God's Wrath did work. All right. Well, man, I don't know if I did a good job explaining everything, but here's... The basics are, destroy two lanes. <laughs> I think I did an okay job of explaining what was happening, but I think sometimes I glossed over card names and what they were doing exactly. Um, I hope this was somewhat educational. I'll try and do a better job in the future. There's just a lot to explain, and also I have to focus on what I'm doing, so it's a, it's a little difficult. But um, I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, I'll definitely make some more. Um, but that has been Artifact. So uh, I guess that's it for today, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.